Chris here from Video Maker. In lieu of having videos from the show floor at NAB, we met with our, the brands via video conferencing and we taped those presentations so that you could know about the newest equipment and newest gear coming out right now. So that's what's in this video and all of the other videos we shot are in a playlist. You'll be able to find them here in this card or in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. Hi, I'm Terry Morgan and I'm the co-founder of LumaTouch. And LumaTouch makes a multi-track editor for iOS, and it is the most professional editor you can find on a mobile device. You can run it on iPad or iPhone. And um, I'm gonna share a few things that we're developing right now. And I'm also gonna uh, share just the basics of the UI. So I'm gonna head, go ahead and share my screen. And there we are, all right. So this is the UI for Luma, Luma Fusion, which is the app, Luma Touch is the company. And on here, we have a multi-track editor. We can have up to six tracks of 4K media, and that can include, um, well, actually, it can also include ProRes media now, which is something I'll talk about. But you have titles, color correction, um, motions, you can add keyframes and do all sorts of um, audio and other things with this app so it is something that people are actually replacing their uh, Final Cut and Premiere with when they either want to be on the go and edit or also when they just feel like this is a more simpler um, package to get your work done and it and it's actually makes it a lot more fun to work on a touch device so you feel very connected to your media and um, the features are very fun to use for instance if i if i just double tap on a clip i can go in um, and use any of these fil filters um, for instance if you wanted to add something like a, a a look like this and then you can adjust these looks these are all key frameable um, also you can come in and touch your media rotate it and and move these around so that's a basic um, ui for it is you have your timeline with six tracks of video six tracks of audio and then if you double tap on any clip it goes into the editor for that clip so if you double tap on audio for instance you're going to go into um, your audio editor with your graphic EQ. So if I play a little bit of this, you can see I can change the EQ of this audio completely. Um, we're, we're now supporting third-party plugins. So I'm going to go and reset my equalizer and just add this zero chorus plugin. So I'm going to bring the mix up and then start playing it and you can see you can get cr pretty crazy with some of these plugins. Um, so right now I've got this huge delay and feedback on it, but that's all possible just with a few clicks inside um, the audio editor. Some of the new things that we're working on right now or just came out actually is our lock and load stabilizer. Here you just double tap again on a clip and go into the stabilizer edit editor. So it's um, just a handheld clip in the forest. And with it on, you can see it's going to be nice and smooth. Compared to the original, I'm just going to slide it over here. So you can see this is a layered edit where I have the lock and load against the original version. And you can see the original on the right is quite shaky. The left is very smooth. This is the same stabilizer that you can get in on Final Cut Pro. Um, as a plugin, and it's got all the same features, so um, you can adjust the horizontal or vertical stabilization. Another thing that, that we're adding right now is um, the uh, actually that's not I'm, I'm going to just talk about it, but it's the external drive editing. So you could hook up something like a Lacey drive with a USB C and edit directly from that drive without copying media to your uh, your iPad or so that you know you're not using any space on your iPad to edit so then when you're done you can just take this drive and plug it into your desktop and even move your project for instance over to 
LumaFusion for um, the desktop, which is the M1 version, or you could go to Final Cut and take your project out as an XML, go to Final Cut, and then um, you know relink your media on your external drive. So that's a really nice, quick workflow. One of the big things that we've been working on lately is uh, multicam. So that's coming out soon. And I'm gonna go ahead and give a little demo of a um, multicam. So I'm gonna start with an empty edit, go up here to my imported files where I have some multicam clips. These were all shot on iPhones of various kinds um, and they all have matching audio. So I have one audio clip that is my master audio. So I'm gonna just press cl create clip and then I'm gonna drag my master audio down to the audio and then I am going to select my other clips here. Um, let's see. And there. And now just drag those down to my drop zones here. Those are my different camera zones. And once they're in here, you can see, I'm going to make the preview really small so you can see all the video tracks down here. See, they're not in sync right now. I can choose to sync them automatically, which would try audio first, or actually it would try time code first and then do audio, because audio takes a little bit of time to, um, to analyze. Once they're in sync, you, you can just play these and check the sync. And you can see here on camera four and 10 that we are in sync now. And then when you have all of your syncing done, and you can adjust that down each clip down here with these little buttons at the bottom, but once you're sunk, you just say finish and insert, and now you have this multicam clip. So now you're switching. So there's two parts to it. One is syncing and the other is switching. So once you're done um, switching, you go to here and you see your switched clip down here. And this is just like any other clip then that can be added to any timeline. So that is how you do multicam syncing so um, there's a lot of other things that we've been working on one of them is dropbox replay which is an the ability to see your media that you've added to replay right in the LumaFusion um, library you would just press replay here i don't have any right now but you can see other people's comments that they put on that media in replay so they can comment on any frame you can reply to those comments you can upload your own timeline with comments um, and basically it's a great way to, to communicate with the rest of your team oh yeah and then um thanks to apple we can now have prores in in ios as long as you support it and we did decide to do that because it's super important to us <laughs> so here we have all the different flavors of prores except for prores raw they don't support that but 422 hq lt 444 and prores proxy so now you can edit with those types of media and export from LumaFusion with those types of media as well all right, so here's the end page. You now have two choices. You can either have the video that YouTube has chosen for you or the video that we have chosen for you. Hopefully either one of them is good, but uh, you never know. They could change your life or not. Thanks for watching. Bye.